This is Professor Paul Robinson from Purdue University. You've probably heard physicians and scientists talking about a cytokine storm during the COVID-19 pandemic. And so I thought I'd give you some basic information and show you how we measure those molecules in our laboratory here at Purdue. You all probably know by now what COVID-19 is. You've heard that this is a pandemic and you know that COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by a virus called SARS-CoV-2. And the 19, by the way, is there because it was discovered in 2019. COVID comes from coronavirus disease. You also know the virus is highly infectious and you know that thousands of folks have died from this dangerous virus. That's as good a reason as I can think of for avoiding it. So what does the immune system do? When we get attacked by a virus, it obviously makes us pretty sick. And the reason the majority of people will recover is because our immune system kicks in and starts attacking the virus. Lymphocytes are white blood cells and they start to make molecules we call antibodies to track down the virus and destroy it. They do this within about five or six days and we make an antibody called IgM and then a few days later we make one called IgG. You might hear about serological tests and these antibodies are what those tests are looking for. When you're infected with COVID-19, typically you get that dry cough, the headaches and the high temperature, but for some patients it gets much worse. The immune system tries hard to attack the virus and sometimes your own immune system just goes out of control. In those cases, the patient gets so sick that they end up on ventilators that breathe for them. You literally overreact to the viral load and start to destroy your own cells. One thing that is now believed is that it is possible that those very sick patients can become much worse because of what is called a cytokine storm. We call this an overactive immune response. Cytokines are small molecules produced by your white blood cells as well as some other cells. There are literally dozens of different cytokines and they do different things to support your immune system. Cytokines balance responses of the immune system to bacteria and viruses, so they are really critical molecules in our immune system. But we know that some cytokines can be overproduced, a sort of panic attack, and they can do a lot of damage and even result in death. Your own immune system is literally doing damage. You're attacking yourself. One of those cytokines is a molecule called IL-6, another IL-10. The IL stands for interleukin, and there are already dozens of similar molecules, and I thought you'd be interested to see how we measure those in our lab. We measure cytokines in your blood. We take some blood, and we can use either plasma or serum. We use a technology called flow cytometry to do these assays. Flow cytometers are instruments we use in our lab to measure blood cells, microbes, cell cultures, and all sorts of things. Flow cytometers are one type of instrument that is critical in our research program because it is capable of analyzing single cells. And it does this analysis really fast, thousands of cells per second. Flow cytometers work by measuring a type of special light called fluorescence. We use a laser to excite a molecule and it emits signals we can measure using special detectors inside the instrument and it produces lots of data. We take the patient's plasma and we add it to a special plate. It might be a 96 or a 384 well plate, depending on how many samples we need to measure. It's a complicated assay and it requires many steps, but basically we add some special very small beads to that plasma and if there are cytokine molecules present, they stick to those beads. Then we add reagents that have molecules we can see using the laser on the flow cytometer and we measure how many cytokines are in the blood. We also run a standard curve and we compare our patient samples to our standard curve and this tells us how much cytokine there is in that patient's sample. So how does it help to know what the cytokine storm consists of? There are drugs available that can make a huge difference to some patients who are suffering from a cytokine storm. Publications are coming out on drugs and treatments that can help, but only if you can get the results quickly, and getting lab results quickly is not easy. We're trying to get these results faster. It takes a whole team of people and resources to do these studies. 
Technicians who perform each assay that can take several hours to perform and requires a variety of laboratory instruments. It takes software engineers who design the software to produce the data and informatic scientists who evaluate the complex data sets. Measuring cytokines is not particularly easy or fast. It's something that we want to make much faster as it's such an important and useful assay, particularly for patients who end up with a potential cytokine storm. Ideally, we want to be able to make these sorts of measurements in a few minutes rather than several hours as it now takes. I hope you have a better idea now of what cytokines are and what a cytokine storm is and why it takes a lot of resources to measure these assays in the laboratory.